Have you ever wondered what is an acid or a base? In this video we are going to talk about definition of acids and bases. There are three definitions for acid and bases. Arrhenius definition, Bernstein and Lowry definition, and Lewis definition. Let's start with the first one. According to Arrhenius, an acid is a substance that produces H plus ions in aqua solution. For example, hydrochloric acid is considered as an acid because it produces H plus ions in the aqua solution. A base, according to Arrhenius definition, is a substance that produces OH minus in the aqua solution. For example, sodium hydroxide produces OH in aqua solution. Under Arrhenius definition, an acid and a base combine to form water, neutralizing each other in the process. As you can see in this simple example, hydrochloric acid produces H plus ions and according to Arrhenius definition is an acid. Sodium hydroxide produces OH minus in aqua solution, so is a base. And H plus and OH minus combine in the process and forming, neutralizing each other and forming water. But Arrhenius definition was not capable to explain why ammonia is a base. For this reason, let's move to the second definition. Bernstein and Lowry definition is focused on the transfer of H plus ions in acid base reactions. According to Bernstein and Lowry definition, an acid is a proton donor. H plus ion called proton because does not have does not contain electrons. And the base is a proton acceptor. According to this definition, hydrochloric acid is an acid because it donates an H plus ion to water molecule to form hydronium ion and chlorine minus. And ammonia is considered a base according to Bernstein Lowry definition because it accepts a proton from water and forms ammonium plus. If we look carefully to these two equations, we see that water at the first time act as a base and at the second one act as an acid. Such kind of substances are called amphoteric. Water is an amphoteric substance. Something worth mentioning here at Bronstein Lowry definition is that ammonia, in this case, turns that is a base, actually it's a weak base, turns into conjugated acid of this weak base. And if we take the case for uh, acetic acid, that is a weak acid, it turns to its own conjugated base. These are important especially for weak acids and weak bases, but, uh, when you need to do calculation in uh, acid-base equilibrium. Let's move now to the third definition. Lewis definition. An acid, according to Lewis definition, is an electron pair acceptor and the base is an electron pair donor. For example, boron trifluoride accepts an electron pair from ammonia because it has an empty orbital or it arranges an empty orbital. In this case, boron trifluoride is considered a Lewis acid and ammonia a Lewis base and forms an adduct as a product. So these are the three definitions for acid and bases. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Peace.